Welcome to another meal prep video. Today I have a very special little helper in my kitchen and we made French loaf bread and all the carb things today. So here at Savvy Saute, I love sharing ideas on how to spend less and create more. So if you're new, my name is Leah and I would love for you to join the Savvy family. If you'd like to go ahead and subscribe, stick around. This is Savvy Saute. Welcome back to another meal prep video. Today I'm going to be working on mostly breakfast foods, some sandwiches for Dakota to take to work in the morning. I'm going to be making some pancakes to stick in my freezer for easy school breakfast mornings. And then I'm also going to be working on some baked oatmeal muffin, like cake type of things. And I'd like to do some homemade French loaf. So we'll see how that goes. And if I have time, I'm gonna mix up some ranch seasoning. I'll show you how that works. That's probably it. So stick around, I'm gonna show you all of that today and hopefully you get some inspiration. Here I'm getting started with the oatmeal bake, which really is like a muffin. So you're going to end up using oats instead of flour, but it is not your typical baked oatmeal. All right, so starting on these oatmeal bakes, the first thing I need to do is get a cup of Hi, a cup of oats into the blender. Next, you'll add in one egg, one banana, half a cup of milk, also some vanilla, I think it was one teaspoon total. And then also, according to my adaption of the recipe, you'll need to do a lot of cinnamon. Now, I did not realize until after I put everything in the mixing bowl that you actually blend it with the oat flour. Next, you're going to pour this into a greased ramekin. Um, I think it said it would make three, but I'm going to just do it in one smaller loaf pan and then put some nuts in here. It suggested blueberry pie filling, but I'm more of a nut kind of girl. You can adapt this recipe with so many different flavors. I will definitely be experimenting with that here in the near future. All right, we're gonna try it. That is very similar to like a banana bread. Hmm. For gluten-free bread, I'm impressed. What I need to do is get our bread started. I need a cup of lukewarm water put into the bread pan first. Next, we're going to do one and a half teaspoons of sugar. We're gonna do one and a half teaspoons of salt. For the French loaf, I'm going to use kosher salt. Then we're going to do one and a half teaspoons of butter. And I have Crisco here, butter flavored Crisco. I'm just gonna use that since it's for baking and I wanna save my good butter for something else. We need to add the bread flour. So we're gonna do three cups. Two. Hi. Hi. Then we're going to add a package of yeast. Uh, no. Yeah? And then we're going to just turn it on to the dough setting. So we have half a cup of dried buttermilk here, and then we're going to add our seasonings. The recipe, the recipe calls for parsley, dill, chives, garlic, onion, salt, and pepper. Based on the Pioneer Woman website that I got this recipe on, it seems like you're going to be getting two packets worth of ranch mix here. So if you're going to be making ranch dressing, use one quarter cup of this as normal. Now 
Next, I'm going to start on the breakfast sandwiches that I'm prepping for the fridge and freezer. I'm doing six sandwiches total, so I'm going to scramble six eggs, and then I'm also going to season them with some salt and pepper. Normally when making such a small batch of eggs or breakfast sandwiches, I would just scramble them on the stove top, but today I'm going to use a greased casserole dish and just get those into my oven at 375. That way I don't have to worry about anything on the stove while I'm working on the rest of my meal prep. Next we're going to be doing some pancakes and I'm going to add the bananas that need to be used up. Say hi! <laughs> All right, so first we need to dump in these bananas. Banana. 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 Do you want to bite? Mm -hmm. You want to bite? Uh, you bite. Yeah. Okay. All right, I also want to add about a teaspoon or two of vanilla, and we're going to add a good helping of cinnamon. Uh, a cinnamon. No, no. Cinnamon. You want to do it? Can you do it? Can you shake it in there? Good job. Then I just added the rest of the pancake mix that I had in my pantry that I got a year ago. So I needed to make sure I used it all up. This is just the kind that you add water to. So it's a complete pancake mix and I didn't have to really measure anything. It's based on how thick you like your batter. A griddle would come so in handy for this, but I do not have one. Um, about halfway through, I'm going to mix in some peanut butter powder. Mm -hmm. So we have peanut butter, banana pancakes as well. I love how versatile pancakes are because you can add anything to them. Chocolate chips, fruit, you can even do extracts to change the flavor completely. So let me know in the comments, what kind of interesting pancake flavors have you come up with? And I'm sure chocolate chips would be so good in these peanut butter pancakes. It would be like Reese's for breakfast. These ones on the top are peanut butter. Then I have them separated with parchment so when I flash freeze them, they won't stick together. Um, the bottom two layers are regular banana cinnamon. So after all of these pancakes, we're gonna go ahead and flash freeze them and then get them into bags. Using a bread maker has been so convenient. I had no idea that it was going to be this easy to make bread. So I'm very thankful that we were gifted this bread machine. Now all of the kneading, the mixing, letting it rise has been done for me up to this point. So now I just need to roll it out onto a floured surface to get the French loaf formed. So you're going to want it to be sort of thin and then you're gonna to wanna to roll it up, pinch the seam and get the edges folded under. Now this was my first time making bread in my oven that requires rising. So I had used the glaze on top before letting it rise, but even with that mistake, it turned out perfectly. Just make sure that you do the glaze after you let it rise. Next you need a teaspoon of water and an egg white. going to go ahead and slice some diagonal lines in here. And then I'm going to let it rise. I think I was supposed to do the glaze after it was finished rising, but I, I missed that. So we're going to let it rise. So now I'm going to go ahead and assemble all of the sandwiches. I've got a pan of cooked scrambled egg. I'm going to be using six of these English muffins that I bought on clearance. I also have some sliced cheese and cooked bacon. Putting together these sandwiches was easier than ever because I already had a bag full of cooked bacon from our last meal prep video. So I literally just layered the cooked egg that was already seasoned with salt and pepper, 
the cooked bacon, and then a slice of cheese. Actually, I did half a slice of cheese because I think this Havarti is sliced pretty thick. So everything came together really quickly. I just wrapped it up in some parchment paper to keep them separated in the freezer, help them not get freezer burnt in case my husband doesn't eat them as fast. And then I kept a couple in the fridge for him to eat this week. And then that bread, that beautiful bread, it had risen to double its size. You're going to go ahead and put a pot of boiling water underneath it in the oven. That way it just helps it get extra crispy. And look at that. Oh my gosh. I could not have planned a better looking loaf of bread. I couldn't believe that it was my first time. The bread was so much easier than I had anticipated. I actually made a second loaf for us to have that night, and then I served it with some homemade broccoli cheddar cheese soup. And I will leave the recipes for everything that I've done today in the description box. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I had so much fun making that French bread. I think it's going to have to become a staple in our home to make it ourselves instead of getting it at the grocery store. From now on, I'm so happy with how it turned out. I think we got a lot of breakfast prepped. We should be all set for the next few weeks. And until the next video, I'll see you in the comments.